Hey guys, Tom here, and welcome back to another SWOTOR video, Star Wars The Old Republic. I am playing more Knights of the Fallen Empire, of course. Um, I'm going to be playing Chapter 4 of Knights of the Fallen Empire. So, um, yeah, let's get stuck in. Oh, I wonder what's in store. <sighs> I took way too long of a break from this game. So I've been looking forward to playing it again. Spooky music. Spacebar. Oh, this is intense. Chapter 4, The Gravestone. Get those fires out. Oh my god. Did you think to take any extinguishers when you stole the ship? See what you can do with this thing. Oh, do I have to actually fly it or what? What? Oh yeah, we got shot by cannons. That's right. I'm sure we're still alive, but that was a bad crash. HK. That's two more shuttles you owe me. You didn't even own this one. It really shouldn't count. It was mine when it crashed. It counts. Do we know anything about this swamp? Not much to it. Barely populated. Some old ruins scattered around. The usual grumpy wildlife you'd expect. People call it the Endless Swamp. Endless? It's an old name. People were more dramatic back then. <laughs> anything on your sensors? Confirmation. I have detected a large metallic object nearby. Analysis suggests a technological construct, but there are no energy readings. Whatever it is, it's got better chances of flying than this thing. Engine's fried to a crisp. Sky troopers won't be far behind us. We need to hide the evidence of our landing. How scavenge you bury? Just like Aaron Prime. <laughs> I want you to know that I appreciate all you've done. You obviously risked a lot to rescue me. Thank you. You're welcome. Though, of course, the rescue isn't quite over yet. I know you have more questions than answers, but we should really keep moving. I promise I'll tell you everything I can as soon as we're safe. Enthusiasm. Shall we investigate the technological object? I believe I can guide us to its location. Very well. More questions than answers. It's just like, um... The Force Awakens. You you walk out of there with more questions than answers. A Ginx? What the hell are you doing here? So we got HK with us. That's pretty sweet. Got some lurkers. For a place beyond the borders of the known galaxy, um, there's a lot of familiar wildlife. Plus one to kill counter. It's like a robotic Trandoshan. He's like HK-47, but, um, more restrained, I guess. <laughs> Report dead. Amazing. Report dead. Oh, I like HK already. The fuck? Where the hell am I? M 
Okay, I'm just going to walk past the Sith Assassin. Because I don't want to get PvP'd to shit. Let's fight these guys. Get out of here. Target has achieved deadness. These are some great lines. Sky troopers. Shouldn't it be unwise to attack these? Because won't they be like notified because they're droids? Fuck it. Awesome. So we're trying to find pieces of scrap that might be related to whatever HK is looking for. Get out of here. He'd be dead. This object seems to be a piece of something bigger. How would I... How would I be able to figure that out? <laughs> looks at a tiny screw. This looks like a piece of something bigger. So that's some really good deduction skills. Amazing. I guess that's what happens when you're a Jedi. Dead. <laughs> Dead. This object is ancient and appears to be broken off something much larger. Again, how can you possibly tell? I'd help him, to be honest. I'd help the Sith Assassin, but... For one thing, it doesn't seem like he needs it. But also, I don't want to accidentally hit him. Uh... You act more like a bodyguard than an assassin. Is that your primary function? Confirmation. It is a very difficult task indeed that I've kept Masters Benico and Vortana alive, despite their high-risk activities, is my greatest achievement. The two of them seem close. Deflection. I am not programmed to assess or discuss the emotional matters of meat bags under my protection. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Star Wars Gossip 101. Oh, I just realized HK is healing. These guys sound a lot like... Oh, I forget what they're called. It's the, the weird crab spider-like things from Attack of the Clones. Let's make this guy damage. I feel like that's more appropriate for HK. Even though he is a bodyguard. But I'd say he's more about, like, completely wiping out stuff. So let's have him be damage. Whoa! Go! Dead. Legendary. Absolutely legendary. Oh my god. There are a lot of these jerks. That sounded like a question. He's like, thank you? Am I supposed to be grateful for- Whoa! It looks like a bowl rancor. It also doesn't look like it has any eyes. Let's get it, HK.
Well, that was easy. Admiration. It is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand, Master. Master? Clarification. Master Benico altered my programming before we secured your release. I am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which I serve her. Okay. In fact, your survival is now my highest priority. I'm no more important than Lana or Koth. Don't prioritize me above them. Concession. I will alter my prioritization as you request, Master. Gossip. You are just as selfless as I had been led to believe. <laughs> Gossip. Presumption. Shall we continue? Gossip. <laughs> that is, um... That's funny. No one harms my master. I like HK, he's cool. Him and Lana are probably... Koth actually seems pretty cool, but I haven't gotten to know him yet. But I think once we get to know them, I think um, a lot of the characters from uh, this expansion are going to be quite likable. Lana I already like. She's a really cool character. Because like she's like an open-minded Sith Lord. Um, Koth... He seems like, um... I think he's like a military veteran who, um, despite being from, yeah, he's a military veteran, despite being from Zakul, he, uh, doesn't serve Arkin, so he, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't fall like the rest, which explains the name Knights of the Fallen Empire. Or maybe... It might be called that for a different reason. I don't know. It's a lot like The Force Awakens. There's a lot of unanswered questions. But we, uh, we will be getting our answers a lot faster. Because, um, Episode 8 has been delayed to 2017? It was delayed an another year later, or something silly. That's what I heard. It doesn't bother me too much. While it's it's sad that we have to wait longer, it's no big deal. I mean, you get to, as long as you get to see it eventually. Is this the object you picked up on your sensors? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. Several centuries. So we're beyond the edge of the city... cityscape. Is it just like a giant ship? It's a giant ship! Centuries? Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. <laughs> Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique, or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? Well, that didn't take too long. He doesn't overthink things. <laughs> That's what I just said. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Do you have any idea what this is? No. It looks like some kind of old spacecraft. This is the Gravestone. This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. You said the ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. But it's rusting in a swamp while the fleet is still around. <laughs> the fleet is even older than Valkyrie. Maybe even older than Zakul. 
The battles happened centuries ago. Nobody knows the details of the whole war, but every story talks about the Gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. That face. It's certainly no coincidence, but destiny? I think there's something else going on here. The will of the Force guides us all, if we learn to listen. Rely on your Jedi ideals if you wish, but there's more to this, I'm sure of it. Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. Caution is advised. We'll split up, deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. Got you covered. Solana's got a point, like, maybe Destiny might not be it. But, I think she's also right about how there's something else going on. Because this situation is very strange, just us coming across this, um, starship. I mean, it's either that or it's plot. But that would be a little pathetic on Bioware's part. They just said, here, take this, this ship. You're the galaxy's only hope, and you've also got an another of the gut. How did that not hit him? Come on. Jerk. Hello? They sound like that creature that Obi Wan killed in Attack of the Clones, but I can't remember what that creature is called. 16, 17, <laughs> and so HK doesn't destroy the ship by like shooting at the pieces. Hello. <laughs> Fuck off. Die. You little crazy broodling or whatever you're called. Oh. Sorry, cough. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Let's set him to damage as well. La ta ta ra ta ta ra ra ta ta ra ta ta ra ra ta ta ra ta ta ra. Where's Koth? The Endless Swamp. After the damage you inflicted, they couldn't have made a safe landing anywhere else. And if they didn't make a safe landing? We'll know soon enough. Sky Troopers, sweep the area. Focus on regions with high metallic sensory. 
She's gonna kill someone again. I oversaw security in the Carbonite prison. I... I humbly submit myself to answer for this failure. I didn't like his answer. <laughs> That's the, uh, kills random minions to show how bad she is cliche. <laughs> oh, boy. So, this ship has been here for a thousand years? More? Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition, considering. Judging by the damage I've seen, the stories are true. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated, but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it, and every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. And Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. If Valkorion has had this unstoppable fleet for more than a century, why didn't he use it to help the Sith Empire defeat the Republic? We can only theorize. Uh, if the war was just part of a ritual to make the Emperor truly immortal, perhaps using the fleet would have interfered somehow. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years' worth of explanations. And I'm gonna need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. I'll help you find what we need, Lana. Very well. Assertion. I will begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. Cool. Well, at least this group is coordinated. Very well coordinated. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Yes, it seems like it. 